Hi, my name is David Ayers. I'm an international recruitment advisor at San Diego State University, and I'm going to be going over an application tutorial for international first year students applying to San Diego State University for fall 2025. Students can access the online application by visiting calstate.edu forward slash apply. As a reminder, San Diego State University accepts international first year applications from October 1 until April 1 each year, but we strongly encourage international first year students to apply prior to the early consideration deadline of December 2nd. Once uh, you access the Cal State ap Apply application, it's important that you select the correct term, which is Fall 2025, and select Apply. This will bring you to the application page where you create your account. Um, make sure that when you're creating the account that you fill out your first and last name as it appears on your passport or birth certificate. Add your contact information and make sure to create a username and password that you can remember so you can access your Cal State Apply application at any time. Once you've completed this portion of creating the account, make sure to accept the terms and conditions of the application and create your account. This will bring you to the extended profile section of the application where you're going to indicate that you are applying for your first bachelor's degree, that your educational status is that you're graduating from high school where you are a senior or the equivalent. Um, you're going to select no when it comes to US military status. And the most important part of the application for international first year students is to indicate that yes, you need or require an F1 student visa to study in the United States. Once this is complete, click save the changes and you're going to go on to add the campus that you're applying to, which is San Diego State University, and the programs that you're interested in. The great thing about the fall 2025 application is it, that it allows you to select a second or alternate major. Um, so in this instance, I've selected civil engineering as the primary major, San Diego State University, and saying yes. Um, we do strongly encourage you to select that second major because we are an impacted campus, which means we have more students applying uh, to programs than we have availability. In this instance, I've selected economics as a second major um, and saved those changes. And you can see here, civil engineering at San Diego State University is an undergraduate program. The alternate major is economics and click continue. This is just an overview of uh, the program that you selected, the campus that you're applying to, um, and then the uh, total fees for the application, which is 70 US dollars, and you continue to your application. This part of the application um, requires you to complete four sections, personal information, academic history, program materials, and supporting information. And once these four sections are complete and highlighted in green, you can submit your application. The first part of uh, the quadrants is personal information. Um, as you complete each section, you must save and continue to the next portion of that section. The most important being citizenship, where you're going to indicate your country of citizenship. You're going to indicate again that you require an F1 student visa. Um, you're going to indicate whether or not you've been working with an international agent or agencies to assist you with the application. The year that you're going to arrive in the United States, if you're admitted to San Diego State, would be 2025. Uh, make sure that you complete the remaining portions of the personal information section, save and continue. This will bring you to another important part of the application, which is your academic history. This is where you're going to be adding your high schools your language proficiency, um, determining your uh, grade point average or GPA, adding any test scores that you might have, and um, then, then indicating what kind of high school uh, degree you're earning, if it was a diploma or A-levels or something like that. So again, locating um, your country, locating your school and the city, adding this to your application, um, going through each section. And then when you get to the academic information, um, you're going to indicate that um, you did you complete your high school or secondary school outside the United States? You're going to say yes. And then you're going to do your best to calculate your GPA, placing that in there or your percentage. 
And then again, um, what type of high school degree that you are completing, which is um, I've added diploma here. And again, each section of each quadrant requires you to save and continue to the next section. As long as you indicated that you're uh, an international first year student requiring an F1 student visa, the requirement uh, for A to G matching subjects uh, will be grayed out. So you can see here, international applicants who enter only high schools outside the United States are not required to match A through G. Um, any students that are graduating from a US high school um, will be held to the A through G matching requirement. Um, we encourage you to work with your high school counselor in the United States to complete this section. But uh, once you submit the application, we will request your international documents and U.S. documents if you have um, transcripts from outside the United States and also in the United States as well. The final two sections of the application are supporting information and program materials. The supporting information allows students to add their achievements to their application, but you need to keep in mind that these uh, achievements are not taken into consideration during the admission review process. Again, you can add things if you'd like, but they will not be reviewed as, as part of the admission decision itself. Um, the final section is program materials, where you're going to go over um, the, the campus that you're applying to, um, the programs you're applying to, all the information is correct. Um, and then the final part of program materials requires you to complete the questions. And again, this is just um, for us to know that um, you are not bringing in uh, transfer work and that you are going to live on campus. It's important that you do select on campus because San Diego State University does have a mandatory two-year live on campus requirement for all first year admitted students. And you'll see here, once the application is complete, um, each section will be highlighted in green. There's a check mark, uh, check mark in each section and you're uh, able to then submit the application. You'll see one here indicating that there's one application to submit to San Diego State University. This will bring you to the page again, uh, which allows you to review uh, what you're applying to. So you're applying to civil engineering at San Diego State University. It's an undergraduate program and an alternate major of economics. If everything looks okay, you can see you have one application to submit at a cost of 70 US dollar, and then you submit all, which will take you to the final page. Again, this is allowing you to review and make sure that you're applying to the correct program and completing uh, the application with an online payment. Um, again, it's important that you pay uh, your um, fees online for the application. And then once your application is submitted to the university, allow at least one week for San Diego State University to respond and thank you for applying and then providing information to continue with your application to the university. If you have questions about the application or need assistance um, along the way, um, please reach out to the Office of International Admissions. Um, there's a lot of ways to contact us, uh, including uh, email, phone. Uh, we do also have a virtual front desk Monday through Friday from 9 to 11 a.m. And it allows you to meet with an international admissions or a recruitment advisor at that point. Um, we also allow students to um, schedule appointments uh, which uh, with their um, their, their advisor um, if they have additional questions. Thank you.